Welcome back everyone. Today we will be playing Space Engineers. So let's just get right into it.
I have created something so devastating. Something so devastatingly awesome. And I am excited to say we are almost complete. So this is the Chonk SD is what we're calling it. And uh, again, I apologize for the frame rate drop, but I'm just going to show you a little bit on the inside. And it's not fully complete. And I don't think it's going to get any more complete than this because of frame rates. Um, so I may make one that's a total gutted interior. I think I have one saved actually without any interior. But once we get uh, the Blast Shield mod in, the, the Star Wars mod, um, this will be airtight in here, so I won't have to worry about uh, air escaping from this, which is actually just uh, a hangar door, and then it closes. They're very big industrial. So we come into here, we have uh, these doors right here that allow air to come in and uh, i forgot to put in lights here again for lag purposes i didn't really include a lot of lights but we have this big uh hexagonal hallway which uh re-watching i watched a bad batch episode and i realized that in the at least the venator uh the hallways aren't actually uh hexagonal they're more they're more square so, uh, I don't know why I thought this was like a, a Star Destroyer design. Regardless, I think it was cool to have these big hallways. And at the end of the hallway, we have this uh, kind of just larger area. And I was thinking that this could be either some sort of drill room, maybe a combat area room for uh, stormtroopers to practice and train in. So, there'd be dummies. It'd be like kind of like, it'd be like a small little PvP area. Um, and then also the gravity doesn't reach here because this thing is so massive So if we come back here, we can go and it's the same on the opposite side. We can now go upstairs through uh, the staircase and There's quite a bit of flight flights of stairs. So the next floor we have these two um, kind of air traffic control stations so they would uh, open up the blast doors or the ray shields or whatever and allow and tell fighters where to land and how to land and it's the same on the other side and if we continue on up we get to this dark area and i can open up this door and we'll get into this area now this area is the kind of superstructure area it's the part right below the cab and what i've done is i've just made a whole bunch of crew quarters um in, in this area and close to the bridge now Unlike my basilisk, I don't have a crew quarter area where all the beds are together because in a lot of Star Wars, anytime you've seen like a little crew quarters area on a ship, it's just a small like almost as big as a cell. So it's got a bat, it's got a bathroom, it's got like lockers and it's got a bed. And that's exactly what we have in these areas. We have this small locker room which we can't actually get in, which is Fine. I think it's right the, on the other side. Yeah, okay. So, uh, oh, you still can't get in. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, but you can still access uh, your armory or locker room. And then we have the bathroom, which is looking good. I think I may just switch the armory uh, and the bathroom. And then have the bathroom facing inward. And the armory could just be a thing of lockers. Actually, here, I'll, show, I sh I'll show you what I mean. So kind of uh kind of like this so now uh we have like now now you can actually get into the bathroom and you can access your lockers yeah and obviously there's not much privacy because it is just a crew quarters for the one trooper and then we have an air vent on top to get oxygen into the room and then if we go through the middle of the section there's nothing down these hallways there's just an empty room again for more rooms if your computer can handle it then we get to this section. Now, I'll get to these areas after, but I think the best part of the ship is this right here, which is an elevator that I designed um, with a piston. Uh, I, th I believe it's a rotor or a hinge, and then like the small head on it. And then I use these small blocks to kind of make like an elevator pad. So then we can press this button and it pushes on up and yes it does kind of scratch and clang a little bit and then once we're up here we are now on the upper deck 
the, the command bridge. And you can call the elevator if you so have to, if you're down there, or if you want to call it down to someone. Yeah, I think, I think it works great. So then if we come up to the bridge, as you saw in the cinematic, we have this awesome Star Wars-esque Star Destroyer bridge with the command seats on the bottom and then the completely bare and empty bridge where you can see all your guns, all the ships as you're attacking those rebel scum. It's very, very, um, how would you say, enclosed, very protected. Uh, it's got it's got these kinds of uh, windows and then it's also got the air vent windows as kind of like a barred area realistically like the star destroyer would have those triangle designs but i didn't want to add more small ships to this ship like those octuple barbette turbo lasers and you can really see how big they are just like lined up in the shadow or you can see their shadows looks great i love it now you may be wondering okay but where's the bridge like where do you actually control it from you actually don't drive it from the command bridge the command bridge tells the pilot where to drive and this is kind of like the biggest point about my star destroyer is that you can attack the command bridge all you want it's not going to prevent it from moving so the actual piloting bridge is right tucked in here on the outside you get an outside view of that right there right in here and you do have a window you have a little bit of a viewing port and you can see on the outside of the ship and then not really from the front all you can see is the the octuple barbette turbo lasers but realistically you would have all of these uh, devices to tell you where you are in space and you don't actually need uh, a, a, a legit visual of your enemies but that's all i have for this video if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you have not already join the chonk army as always become one of us one of us having a lot of fun with this build more minecraft and call of duty content coming out if you guys enjoy that and uh maybe some cooking videos mm. Mm. anyways thank you all so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next and as always stay safe stay healthy but most importantly stay chonk your lord himself chonkers out.